Hi, I'm Roy Garris, Regulatory Compliance Practice Manager for ICON ATG. This is the second in a series of videos by ICON ATG on the public's protected information, what it is, and how to keep it safe. In the first video, we presented an overview of the nature of the threat of data theft and presented a three-phase approach providing an integrated and comprehensive compliance quality program. In this video, we'll focus on the critical role of your SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle, and the automation of your lifecycle for meeting regulatory compliance. Fundamentally, it's neither practical nor cost-effective to try to meet compliance requirements in a totally manual fashion. The fact of the matter is that with growing compliance regulations, you are going to be audited. An automated, mature software development process will provide confidence that your applications successfully meet the requirements of regulatory compliance assessments and audits. Furthermore, in the event of a data breach, an integrated tool set provides a clear audit trail that is indispensable for demonstrating that you took the required actions to be protected by safe harbor provisions. Many organizations are already addressing regulatory compliance through security programs that prevent intrusion via the web. However, to be fully compliant, you must also address key activities within your SDLC. Let's examine some key requirements of regulatory compliance standards. If you discovered nine months ago that you had a data breach, could your forensic audit clearly provide evidence that you followed your security policies and standards? Could you provide documentation that your quality testing program was satisfactorily completed? Could you produce an audit of who is accountable for changes to requirements and source code and that it was correctly put into production? Could you verify the test plans, test cases, and processes were followed for safe harbor provisions? And could you demonstrate that the most current patches were installed at the time of the breach? These issues and others are not business issues. And they are not web intrusion issues. They are issues that directly impact the way you develop software and must be addressed through your SDLC. Imagine for a moment that you just discovered that you have a breach in progress. After reporting the breach, it's almost certain that you will be required to conduct an internal audit. And depending on the extent of the breach, it's very likely there will be requirements for an external audit. What would your audit look like today? Would your developer spend weeks with auditors going on Safari through your development and production records? Would your system's development grind to a halt while you support the audit? How long would your systems be locked down, preventing revenue-stopping bug fixes or the delivery of critical new business value? After all of this, would your audit demonstrate due diligence to customers and qualification for safe harbor provisions? Or would your audit provide ammunition to competitors and media to permanently damage the value of your brand? With an integrated SDLC toolset, your organization could provide this information practically at the push of a button. All the information you need for auditability, traceability, accountability would be available for the exact version of software you had in production during the breach, even if it was months or years ago. Being compliant isn't really that difficult. If you're putting code into production, you are likely already performing many of the activities required to be compliant. To demonstrate compliance, you still must validate that you have implemented and tested all regulatory compliance requirements. And then you must capture the evidence that you made a conscious effort to be compliant. To be cost effective, your SDLC and your automated development tools must capture the information to support your audit as part of your normal development activities. For these tools to be most effective, they must also fully integrate with each other and scale to the environment. Now, let's demonstrate how an integrated tool set greatly simplifies achieving regulatory compliance. We'll use the IBM Rational tool set as an example. Adoption of only three tools can go a long way towards achieving these compliance objectives. First, IBM Rational Requisite Pro is a requirements management tool that allows you to document and control all of your requirements in a single repository. This tool has many features. Let's only focus on some key features for supporting regulatory compliance. Here, we see a screenshot of Requisite Pro showing protected information types organized by state. 
Over 56 types of protected information are defined by U.S. states, territories, and the District of Columbia, and over 1,100 compliance requirements have been created from state laws alone. Now, if we go one step deeper into the matrix, you'll see that clicking on any of these cells will produce the requirements for that state and data type as well as the traceability to the state laws that apply. This traceability can be extended to the source code and test cases for each one of these requirements. Imagine having the responsibility of managing thousands of regulatory requirements. Then imagine having a tool that organizes and documents all of them, providing links for traceability, accountability, and auditability. The value of leveraging RecPro quickly becomes apparent. The second tool is Rational Quality Manager. This tool provides test planning, test case development, test execution, monitoring, and tracking. It also provides traceability back to the requirements in Requisite Pro. As you can see from the menu on the left, Rational Quality Manager has a full suite of capabilities available through a single interface. Let's examine some of these capabilities in the context of compliance. Rational Quality Manager sets the foundation for producing evidence of compliance, and the first piece of evidence needed to pass any audit will be your compliance test plan. Once your test plan is complete, you will need to author and execute your compliance test cases. Keep in mind that, in order to be compliant, you must be able to demonstrate requirements coverage by test case. Next. Rational Quality Manager captures and provides full reporting capability for test execution results. This is the additional evidence needed to show that you were compliant at a given point in time. Finally, Rational Quality Manager provides workflow support, tracking defects from discovery all the way through to resolution with full accountability. The third tool is Rational App Scan. AppScan runs an automated test suite of known hacking strategies to identify security defects in your web applications. To be compliant, you must periodically test your application for these vulnerabilities. Here we see an example of one of the more pervasive threats to web applications, cross-site scripting. AppScan scans for this and all other known threats, running over 4,000 test cases automatically. And as new threats are identified, they are added to AppScan's test suite on a daily basis. Developers are extensively supported by AppScan. Not only does AppScan identify weakness in the code, it also fully explains the weakness and provides detailed suggestions for how to repair the code. In fact, AppScan's support for developers is so complete that it can be considered a tutorial for secure coding practices. Finally. AppScan provides a rich set of reports and documentation that allows managers to track performance both at a point in time and over a period of time, producing evidence of your ongoing efforts to be compliant. So, to recap, demonstrating regulatory compliance begins with your software development lifecycle. Safe Harbor provisions provide significant protection but you must capture evidence of compliance during your SDLC to qualify. Remember, only a few tools are needed to provide the majority of your compliance evidence. Please contact ICON ATG if you would like more information about regulatory compliance, automating your SDLC to qualify for safe harbor provisions, or to arrange for demonstrations of the featured automated tools. ICON ATG provides cost-effective consulting, training, and tool sales that can jumpstart your regulatory compliance program in as little as one month. Please contact us for details.